What is going on everyone? Welcome guys to a brand new Let's Play which is going to be Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon and this is going to be our continuation of the Reignited Trilogy that we kind of already picked off in the beginning of the year we started. So anyways guys we're going to continue here and start with Spyro Year of the Dragon so um, I hope you guys really enjoy this video. I'm going to try to keep it like a quick video because I'm recording it a little bit later in the evening so um, plus I have some other homework to do still <laughs> but um yeah guys uh, hopefully tomorrow I won't have class because we're actually getting a really bad snowstorm so it's like an arctic blast or whatever that's going through <laughs> but anyways guys I'm gonna let you enjoy these cutscenes and then we're gonna pick off in the first homeworld in the game so enjoy guys in the beautiful world of dragons again. Wow, look at these graphics too in the in this cutscene. That's a major improvement from the original. I'm so excited to be playing this game too, guys. Oh jeez, Hunter. Stop her! <laughs> Alright guys, so there was the... Pretty much the first cutscene in the game showing you what's going on here. So that was, uh... Bianca. I'll, I'll explain a little bit more about this. Capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent! Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. <coughs> oh, there's Zoe. Our little recon fairy. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. A desperate rescue begins. This is where the game actually starts picking up with the story. Where are the eggs? The holes came out on the other side of the dragon worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The Forgotten Realms. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come <coughs> on, let's go! Hmm. Oh, jeez, Hunter. Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it. Yeah. All right, guys. So basically, oh wow, sweet. Okay, so here we are, guys. We're in, uh, we're in Sunrise Spring, the first homeworld in the game. Wow, look at how awesome this looks. Jeez, guys. Okay, so this game is a little bit different. Um, the main goal is to is to collect the dragon eggs, and then also within the levels, there's going to be these side missions, kind of like how on Spyro 2 there was the side missions as well. But um, in this game, it's going to be a little bit different because the side missions are going to be like different portals and stuff, rather than you know like how in Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage they just had the uh, the side missions like within the level and you had to discover them this game's a little bit different but it's really amazing guys and I think in this first episode I'm gonna keep it relatively short I'm probably only gonna do maybe the first home world or whatever I don't know we'll see we'll see how this plays out guys I just wanted to upload quickly okay Isabel which is gonna be our first dragon sweet <laughs> Okay, and they all kind of do their little dance or whatever, so that's pretty cool. Oh. Also, guys, if you click the L3 button, you will immediately notice that you have the uh, the Sparks Gem Finder, just like in the, all the other games in this trilogy. On the PlayStation 4, they decided to release it. 
with the gem finder, which really, or in the original games, it wasn't available. Um, at least on Spyro 1 and 2, I think. But don't quote me on that. Definitely not in the first Spyro, it wasn't available. Rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back into that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find any eggs, our expertly trained armies would hunt you down and take them back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be... All right. <clears throat> so Bianca is basically... She's going to... In, throughout this game, she's going to be like the main antagonist with the sorcerer. And the sorcerer is basically just trying to take all the dragon eggs, so... With Bianca. But eventually, you guys probably already know the story that Bianca turns good eventually. So, and she starts to work for us, so. All right, which is really cool. I like how the plot develops a little bit differently in this game. This game makes use of some cutscenes, which is really great. Okay, also guys, here, this is uh, my, my, money bags. He's returned again, <laughs> unfortunately. Since we defeated Ripto in Avalon. <coughs> <coughs> My business went into a slump after you left, so I came here. The sorceress has asked me to guard Sheila the kangaroo. Okay, 300 gems to free Sheila. Also, guys, within each of these homeworlds in the game, there's going to be these special characters, such as Sheila, which is right here. She's a kangaroo or whatever, and she comes with some really unique abilities. Each character, guys, is going to have their own set of unique abilities, which is great. So we could kind of learn some new skills as, and kind of add some new members to the crew. Alright guys, we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna try to avoid Hunter over here because he's just gonna tell us how to glide. And oh guys, one of my favorite levels in this homeworld, Cloud Spires right here. Which I'll probably do in the next video. I don't know. Alright, maybe I'll do an episode tomorrow as well. Okay, cause I doubt, I don't know if I'm gonna have class or not. It's definitely going to be really cold and stuff. Okay, guys, so we're going to have to go all the way over here. And this is how we're able to get the uh, dragon egg up here. Perfect. This is Amy. And also, guys, I think if we fly out here, there's something else we could get. I think there's a... Uh... Yeah, there's some extra lives over there to the left that we could pick up. I might go get them as well. But anyways, let's go back here. Let's get all these remaining gems in this cool-looking cave. Man, guys, I'm playing Crash Bandicoot Team or Crash Team Racing. I'm playing Medieval, all kind of great games. I'm gonna do some Ghost Recon as well this week. Try to finish that game. And I was thinking about getting Breakpoint as well. That game looks really cool. Okay, so this is good. I think we got all the gems in here. Now we could just go back. Yeah, I think we're gonna. We're, let's go try to get these. Oh shit. Oops. Alright, guys, so let's go get these extra lives. There used to be a glitch. Oh shit. There we go. Perfect. There used to be a glitch for the PS1 with the double jump. You could actually, with this flying section, you could get onto that tree and you could escape this level. It was really cool. I used to do it all the time, but I don't know if it's going to work on this game. <laughs> they probably fixed all the, the bugs and stuff with the original games. Okay, so let's go get these gems. Perfect. Oh, wow, this looks a lot nicer than the original over here like shaded tree section okay so there we go nice we got all of the gems here and we only need 300 to free Sheila so we could also do that but I'm probably gonna wait here also we have to do this head bash move here to get this dragon egg in this rock <laughs> that's Liam <laughs> okay, so nice. We got that done. Perfect, guys. Let's get this. Oh, 
Was this the Tiki Lounge or Tiki Lodge? And the portal to my home just stopped working. Yeah. Maybe the portal will re Okay, so we need 10 dragon eggs to get into this, the Tiki Lodge, which is a really cool level. I, that's not the name of the level, I think, but I forget what it's called, but it's really cool. Alright, there we go, guys. So now Hunter's gonna tell us... the bottom of this lake! I would... Oh yeah, he's basically telling us that there's some stuff at the bottom of the lake we have to collect. Also, guys, in this game, there's some really cool mini-games, like with Sparks over here. So we have a special task. Zoe has a special mission for us. We have to come back here eventually after we complete the home world. All right, and then we'll have a Sparks mission. So there's a lot of cool additions to this game. This actually might be, this is probably, I don't know. Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage is my favorite Spyro of all time. But this level's really, or this game's really amazing too. Swim at Shell Beach when my portal. Oh yeah, we have to go to Shell Beach. That kind of reminds me of the mission Sunny Beach from, uh, or what's it called? Sunny Shores or what? A sunny Beach from Spyro 2. The one that had the turtles that you had to save and stuff. <laughs> that was a really cool level. Okay, sweet. There's also a uh, speedway up here we're gonna have to go to, I believe. So there's a lot of different additions, guys, in this game. Okay, looks like all the gems are found. Now let's go to the bottom of the lake and get these gems. Oh, cool. Let's go up here. Yeah, this is gonna be a nice quick video, guys. I'm, it probably will only be like 15 minutes or so. But that's okay. I just want to have a, two videos for you guys to enjoy tonight. Okay. Oh, here we go. We got Bruce. <laughs> okay, so there's our next dragon, guys. And let's go this way. Let's see, I forget what, what else we're missing. Perfect. Where's the other? There's some gems over here. Oh yeah, see? There's one hiding. Let's go back this way. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Perfect, guys. We got all the gems found. Oh, also we have to learn gliding. I forgot about that. We we actually do have to uh, talk to Hunter. <laughs> we can't just skip over that part. Damn it. That's okay. It's kind of like a tutorial. Like when you got into the uh, I just found one of those portals. What was it called? The first home world in Spyro 2. How there was that you had to learn how to hop and stuff and hover. While you're in the air to glide, just follow. With Hunter. There we go. Okay, man, I can't wait to get to Cloud Spires. In that cave over there. Let's go check. Okay, guys, so this is going to be the final mission that we have to do in this home world. I found this egg. Perfect. So this is our final one, which is Coltrane. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, guys, so we got looks like a hundred percent level completed in pretty much 14 minutes so that was really quick okay so in the next episode guys actually let's see should i do this first i'm getting paid a fortune to keep uh you know what let's just do it <laughs> i uh I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. That's good of you, mate. <laughs> no hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I reckon you'd be one of them dragons then. Oh, look at Sheila has a little out outfit on. That's pretty cool. I thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden <laughs> you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? 
Yeah, and the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out of the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit anytime you like. Sweet. Okay guys, so we could also go to Sheila's Alp um, eventually. But anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed this first episode. In the next video, we're going to go to Sunny Villa and probably Cloud Spires. So thank you so much for watching this episode guys, and stay tuned for more content coming soon.